Hey guys, uh, Flying J here, and I am. I wanted to do this on Monday, but um, I ran out of time. But uh, I mean, I'm doing it now. You're lucky you're even getting it. Anyway, uh, let's get into it. So the uh, race um, review. I think the racing was pretty stale for most of the for most of the day until maybe the la final eight laps or so, or until Matt Kenseth hit the wall. Sorry, I'm free-handing my phone. Um, but yeah, it was pretty boring. Uh, same sort of people ran up front every day until, like, the final eight laps when Joey Logano took the lead. Or whenever jo Joey Logano took the lead. I'm so tired now. <laughs> it's like 7 in the morning. Which seems quite late for some people, but... Anyway, um, I think pit stops really changed everything up, too. Um, like, you saw people gaining ridiculous amounts of uh, spots by taking, like, the same amount of stuff. Except Christopher Bell, I think, who got, like, a handful of spots by taking, like, two tires. And that's the only time someone had a different pit strategy. <laughs> And, um, yeah. But, uh, I guess we'll see Joey Logano in the championship round. Dang, he fucked up the, the playoffs. This is the second person to do this. Uh, win out of nowhere and completely mess up the playoffs. That would be, uh, Kurt Busch. Uh, I wouldn't say they messed it up, but, like, they, they sure took it to, a, uh, to an unexpected turn. Um... But yeah, um, I don't know who my pick for the championship four would be now that Logano's in. I guess it would just be Harvick, uh, Hamlin, Keselowski, and Logano. I kind of was hyped to see Chase Elliott in there too, but I guess not. Um, but we'll, we'll see. It's obviously going to be Harvick or Hamlin. But... Um, But the final two, we'd have to see. I mean, Logano now has, what, two or three wins uh, on the season. Elliott has three wins. Um, and Keselowski has four wins. I think those are the main people going into the championship four. I don't think Truex is going to make it this time around. Yeah, but um, I wouldn't consider there being much to say. Um, I did just find out that, um, like, on other news, I did just find out that Richard Childress Racing and, uh, Hendrick Motorsports are having an alliance. I like both of the teams. I'm a Chevy, um, I'm a Chevy fanboy, and uh, I haven't been able to like Chevy since they've been sucking for the past three years, um, so, so I'm glad they say they're trying to build a better engine for Chevrolet altogether. So that's nice to see. Though I I, I feel like uh, Dale Senior would be up in heaven going SMH so bad, man. Um, but uh, y yeah, I know it's like the average length of every single video I've ever had. It's very short, but um. Uh, I give it like a 4 out of 10 just because of the last 10 or 8 laps or so or even like 5 laps. It was really boring racing for a while there and I think I fell asleep because I, I don't remember half of it. But uh, yeah, 4 out of 10 for this race. Hopefully, uh, what's the next one? I think it's... Texas, not entirely sure. I think it's Texas, and Texas is a pretty good track with pretty good racing, so we'll see. We'll see. But, um, oh, I've come up with a new outro. Here, let me, I mean, it's stupid. That's why I made it. So, so let's start. Let's start.
All right, I'm Flying J signing off. And remember, if life gives you lemons, do whatever you want with them. I don't really care. I'll see you in the next one.